Hello, Gary Smith here. I'm going to quickly show you how to make the most of this chart. It's the pipeline quality metrics and it shows, amongst other things, the number of closed date changes, the number of times that the closed date has moved from one month to another. So it's a great way of looking at the quality of the pipeline and picking out deals that have a less than average chance of closing successfully. Now, when you install the dashboard, the package, we can only start to count close date changes from that point onwards. And by default, we can only count it for new opportunities created from this point onwards. However, I'm going to show you how we can easily count the number of close date changes on existing opportunities from this point forward. So there's a couple of little bits of setup that you need to do and I'm going to show you exactly that, those steps now. So first thing we need to do is go to the setup area and in particular we'll go to opportunities, customize, opportunities and fields. Scroll down to the custom fields section and you can see that we've installed two new fields, the number of closed date extensions and the number of closed date month extensions. The difference between them is simply that the closed date month extensions only counts when the closed date moves from one month to another as opposed to when the closed date simply moves. So the first thing that we need to do is make those fields visible to, to relevant users. So I'm going to click on the field and that will open up the uh, configuration area, the field level security settings for this specific field. And what I'm going to do is click on this button here, view field access accessibility. And I'm going to go to system administrator. You can see that that field is hidden. And I'm going to make it visible by checking that box. And I might want to adjust it further for individual profiles. I'm just going to do the same thing on the second field. So this time, go down to my custom fields. This time I'm going to do it on the close date month extensions. Same thing, click on the field, click on view field accessibility. I'm going to click on system administrator. And I'm going to make that field fully visible as well. So now we have access, full access to the field. So now let's have a look at those two fields in action. I'm going to go to an opportunity. Let's take this one. Here are my two fields on the page layout. Now, when you create a new opportunity from this point onwards, those two fields will both contain the number zero and they will automatically start tracking whenever the close date changes. But you can see here, for this opportunity, because this is an existing opportunity, those fields don't contain, contain zero, they don't contain anything at all. So what we need to do is we need to populate a zero into each of these fields. Now, there are three ways that you can do that. One, you could go opportunity by opportunity and populate the zero into each of those fields. That would be a pretty laborious way to do it, but that's one way to do it. The second way, if you're familiar with the Apex data loader, you can mass update all of your opportunities with a zero in each of those fields. But the third way to do it, and the way that many people will want to do it, is through an opportunity list view. Let me show you what that means. I'm going to click on the Opportunities tab. And by the way, the same principle applies equally in Lightning or Classic. I happen to be using the Classic interface here. And this is a list view in the Classic interface. You can see I've got different lists here. And I have all opportunities, or I could create one of all open opportunities and so on. So let's have a look at that one. So there's a list of all of my open opportunities. And what I did just before I started the video was I just modified the display columns 
here and I added my two fields to that list view. Here they are, here are the two fields. So now I can select all of the open opportunities and I can populate en masse each of the two fields, the two new fields with a zero. So double click on the first one. So you can see I've selected all the opportunities. Double click on the first one, put a big fat zero there. And I want to apply that in this case to all 28 selected opportunities. Just refresh the page. And there we are. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the second field. Put in a zero. Refresh that. So now I've populated a zero into, into those two fields for all existing opportunities. So let me show you how that works. Let's just go to an open opportunity. Here we are. You can see that there's the zero in the two fields. And we will just make a close date month change. Let's move it from September, from August to September. And you can see that both of those fields have populated the number of close date extensions, because we've changed the close date, and in this case, the number of close date month extensions, because we've changed the changed the close date from one month to another. So that's how how you update the fields and now the dashboard will start to track those close date changes for all existing opportunities. We can't go back in time but you are now tracking those changes for all existing opportunities. Do not get stuck or bogged down on this. If you have a problem, go to our website. It's GarySmithPartnership.com. Give us a ring or go to our contact page and get in touch. We will give you a hand to sort it out. That's it for now. Good luck.